that is supposed to just sort of fly by naturally and, and you know, it's making you nervous to the point where you're like, you know, rehearsing for weeks and looking at it the night before and, you know, all of that building up, it's hard to forget that and um, he makes it pretty easy, uh, as do all these folks. But, um, yeah, no, it's pretty important to go over it, I think. Thank you. Hi, my question's for Taylor. First off, I love you. <laughs> um, I was just wondering, because my question was just answered about coming from your point of view, what is that going to be to be such a main focus in the book, and I mean in the movie, and being so in your mind? How do you feel about that? Um, it, 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 it's a lot of pressure, because um, there's some great stuff going on down in Brazil. Uh, and uh, <laughs> um, it's it's really interesting to see, to see you know just moments tidbits um, you know from Jacob's point of view of what what he's dealing with you know like I said he he, uh, he matures so much so it's it's really interesting to see how he handles situations at the beginning of the film and how he handles them at the end. Uh, um, also to step out of out of Bella's um, point of view at that point in the movie is yeah. really quite perfect because she is very withdrawn from everyone in the whole story and yeah. kind of don't really know what's going on with her, which I think is good. She's sort of, like I said, like sitting in the corner just being like everyone away and I'm not even going to explain myself to you. And so it's cool not to really know exactly what's going on with her because then you, right. you wonder how Edward is feeling about everything and, yeah. you know, because they're at odds for the first time and you don't think they're going to like break up or anything, but they're definitely at odds. And, yeah. Yeah. Thank you.